approved and on the move. The first vials of the new Johnson & Johnson vaccine are on their way. First part of those doses on that UPS truck heading to the airport. We're shipping as we speak. We expect to have almost 4 million doses out within the next 24 to 48 hours. The nation's COVID task force hailed today's news, but warned everyone to stay vigilant. Now is not the time to relax the critical safeguards that we know can stop the spread of COVID-19 in our communities. That message is getting some pushback, mostly aimed at Dr. Anthony Fauci. But Fauci, such a downer. You know, we're, we're masks forever. I don't want to wear a mask forever. He was also a target at CPAC. Dr. Fauci is wrong a lot. There's concern today that the conservative conference could prove to be a super spreader. Hundreds packed into an Orlando hotel ballroom for the event and scoffed when they were asked to wear masks. Please. Everyone, when you're in the ballroom, when you're seated, you should still be wearing a mask. Do you miss me yet? Do you miss me yet? Donald Trump's big speech is getting some mixed reviews today, with some describing it as stale. So how the hell is it possible that we lost? It's not possible. He's still peddling the same old falsehood that he won the election, and he hinted that he might run again in 2024. Who knows? I may even decide to beat them for a third time, okay? His favorite tune, still YMCA. We're learning today that Trump and his wife Melania got COVID-19 vaccines in January, just before they left the White House.